Hey guys, I'm back and it's Friday. I'm not going to be, as Bree said for me, I'm not going to be active on the fan account for a while. And that is because my Wi-Fi is down with my phone. It's not working for some reason. And I need to get that figured out. Okay, so I guess let me just start off with this story of how this happened. Not really how it happened, but we're going to start from the beginning and then move into what actually happened. Okay, so my, us 8th graders, we do book club groups. And during your hour, you go to either you stay in your own class or you go into a separate team, which that's how us 7th graders and 8th graders are divided up. We're divided up by teams. And so I had to go to this other team to this other language arts teacher. And the book that I'm doing is Live Forever. She got us all assigned in our book club groups. It was good. We were good. <laughs> we were good. And nothing was wrong. Well, we started doing, like, introducing people. And, um, and that means, like, it's where somebody stands up and introduce you, not you introduce yourself. <laughs> Well, me, I don't like standing in front of just people doing nothing because that is totally awkward for me. Very awkward. <laughs> and so, since that was really awkward for me, after our split lunch, it was my, tur my group's turn to do that. And I asked her before I sat down after our lunch, fifth hour, I asked her if I could just sit down and have somebody else just and have that person introduce me and she said yeah you can sit down you're good and then when I was when it came my turn for my group to introduce me and I was like the second person the teacher before she even like before anybody could even get started saying anything about me or me saying anything she had to make a comment, which was, everybody turn around in the class and stare at her. Well, okay, that's not good. Um, that made me feel very uncomfortable, and then I put my head on my binder, just trying to not see all of it and try to calm down myself and not get really worked up and nervous. Well, when my head was on my binder, she said, now you're going to be honest, the weird girl with her head on her binder. <laughs> now, why would a teacher say that? I don't know. But now, after this whole thing, I was I asked her if I could just go to the bathroom. Because I cannot cry in front of people. and Unless if I'm already crying and then like it's in front of my friends or whatever. But I just can't cry in front of people. People that I don't know. And, you know, it's just, I can't do it. I get cry in public. And so, since I was, like, not, I did not want to cry in front of people, I just asked to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, and I just cleaned up my face. I was like, okay, let's just get over with. It's eight minutes. It's done. I, I can handle it for eight more minutes. And I went back to class. Everything was fine, and then I told my language arts teacher when during SOAR because SOAR is like a study hall. If you guys don't know what that is, probably not. Um, and so during study hall at the end of the day, I went to my teacher, my homeroom teacher, who is my language arts teacher, and involved in all of this. I told her what had happened, and she emailed that language arts teacher, which I'm not going to say the name of, and it was all good, and the language arts teacher actually had just called today, and she said, 
that she was sorry and that she was gonna talk to me and give me an apology. I really accept that. I don't know how that's gonna go tomorrow, but I guess we will see. And let's just say if you have a teacher that's just antagonizing you and bullying you and saying really mean stuff to you, don't take that into, like, don't just accept it and let it happen. Go to somebody and tell them because it's never going to get solved and it will keep happening if you don't. And I'm not saying that this teacher was antagonizing me or bullying me. I'm just saying it was just hurtful words and it was, I guess you could just put it as it was verbal abuse. And I didn't think it was right that she said that. I still don't know why she said that. But at least as of now, if I wanted to, I could just stay with my regular language arts teacher and be in a book club group in her class instead. I don't know what my decision will be. I guess I will find out later, but I guess that doesn't really matter right now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.